Hello, we are back for episode 22, and look what I found. There were two wood blocks here, similar to that there, and I didn't know that Mineshaft would put in a floor if there were blocks missing. Although I suppose that the bridges I've seen across ravines should have clued me in to that fact. So this place ought to have some gold somewhere. And I intend to find it if it does. So let's descend into salts, or actually let's not. Salt diving is not a fun hobby, trust me. Oh, neither is having uh, ooh. Ah, look! Right there. How convenient is that? Excellent. Now let's be very careful. And let's get my iron pick because this is redstone level. Oh, this is so nice. Yep. Been looking all over for you. Now the question is, should I explore this ravine for more interesting stuff? I probably should, shouldn't I? However, our storage space is still very limited, although it doesn't hurt finding more s things, now does it? I don't think it does. The frame rate is absolutely abysmal up here for some reason. So let's do this. Let's find... Well, let me find my way back up and I'm going to unload some of this stuff because there is lava down there and I definitely don't want to lose this gold or the tiny amount of redstone I found and let's um, go back down then and explore the ravines and its caves now this is getting fall, although it is mostly cobblestone, which I don't really need all that much. So let's stash that. Throw a more cobblestone that I do not need. Don't need salt with me right now. I have two music discs. Let's save those more cobblestone. These I definitely want to keep. Buckets are replaceable. You are not. Bones I do not want. Now mangrove planks I can grow more of but I would like to keep the ones I have anyway. And that should do it. I am reasonably well fed at the moment. Now let's head back down and explore the ravine. And hopefully we'll find some quite interesting things down there. Whoop, that's the wrong way. It's in 
here. And down we go. Now, the best way to go down there is to not jump into the lava. Let's take our way down this way. My hope is that I find more redstone or some diamonds down here would be nice. Very nice. I'm not sure what I would do with them if I found diamonds, but it wouldn't hurt having them anyway. Now it looks like it's a dead end on this side, which is fine because that means monsters can't wander in from here, and it's blocked off by lava anyway. We might want to dig this out, because ender pearls have their uses for sure. Oh, hello. How? Oh dear. Well, I did not count on that happening. Alright, so one more time. I'll be right back once I have gotten to the place. All right, almost there. Let's have these things back. Dang, Enderman surprising me. Let's put the things back on. Where's the shovel? with you and let's keep digging oh. I wonder if they're summoned by the ore or something oh, drop some Ender seeds, ender plant seeds. Not exactly useful. I already have a bunch of those. Ooh. Ah, hello. That is Peridot, I believe, from. Biomes are plenty. Not exactly I do not want to end up with something behind me. Dot is not exactly useful for anything, especially not right now. But I want some anyway because it's a gem. And gems are shiny. Is that a zombie? Almost thought it was a slime. That looks like uranium or All right, let's wait for the lava to dissipate to avoid having 
my precious be destroyed. Come on. Oh yeah. A peridot gem. Quite nice indeed. And more redstone down there. I can definitely use that. And the wooden supports are on fire. It's a wonder they haven't burned earlier. What strange magic that was. Oh. Alright, let's go down here. I would like to have this fire put out, but I suspect it is too late. What I might want to do is attempt to cut the fire off to keep myself from burning. Although it doesn't look like it's spreading this way anyway. At least not on the right side. Come on, stop, stop burning. Oh. Oh no, don't set me on fire. Oh great. Well, that went well. Or not. Alright, same story once again. I'll be right back. Sigh. Alright. Here we are again. And corpses not burned up. That is good. And there's another Enderman of Enderman of course. Let's take care of this quickly. This is uranium. Don't need that. Alright, let's re reestablish some order here. Let's combine those. Let's mine this out before there are more zombies. Dang zombies. Alrighty. Ooh, there's a lot of redstone here. Quite nice. Right. Ow. Did the same thing again. The definition of a genius, I believe. Or something like that. Let's I just want to see if there's more redstone down there. Of course there is not. Ooh. That's a more peridot, I see. Doesn't hurt bringing that. So I already have some. It's taking up a slot regardless. And more redstone? Yes, please. Might have to end up pack packaging this in some boxes. And there are some more enter ore. That was 
that's it. Alrighty. Let's check down here. We have some more tunnels. More redstone. Burning coal. And obsidian. Ow. Ow. Oh. I went into the smoke with my head. Alright, nothing here. More redstone doesn't hurt at all. The more, the merrier. More ender ore. More redstone. This is super dark. But let's get as much redstone as possible. This is copper, I don't need that. Whoop. Let's check here. Even more redstone. And some lead. Ah, dang it. Well, here we go again. And here we are. Time to get some stuff back. Again. Yep. Then we put these on. Although they they don't appear to help all that much, unfortunately. Let's throw bones and rotten flesh away. This is the iron pickaxe. I want the Stone one. Let's let's mine this little bit of redstone, and then I think it is time to make my exit. I do hope I... oh dear. There's a lot more than I thought there would be. But I do hope I remember how to get back out. I should, though, since I just made my way in. I mean, probably. Go away, bat. Let's see. Should be this way. Whoop. Uh, <coughs> come on, die. Whoop. Uh, you die too, please. This will do, I think. Yeah, this is the place. 
then we're going over here. The frame rate is super awful, so I have to be careful not to make any mistakes because they might well cost me another death which I would like to avoid if possible alright I think we're on the home stretch or the equivalent thereof for spelunking here we go Oop. Uh, right. And then comes the fun part of sorting our stuff. And since we most certainly will not be able to take all of it, decide what to bring back. Alrighty, I need some wooden planks. Seems I have used most of mine. Need some sticks. And then, like this, will get me a number of boxes. Apparently they stack up to 64, which I didn't know, but that is handy. So that'll let us compact that a bit. And we get a few more of those. That probably didn't do anything, actually. But oh well. Let's... Let's make us a oh, creeper head. Let's make us a backpack. We need a gold ingot. We need seven leather. We do not need bones. And we do not need rotten flesh. And we need a piece of wool. Now, need to smelt this. And two sticks should do the job. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Golden gut. And then we need to do this. And this it gets us a backpack. Now let's go inside. Now the better storage backpack is um, is actually a block sort of. So if we right click, we'll put it down, and we have a single chests worth of storage space. Now, while it is empty at least, I believe you can pick it uh, back up and you can um, then do what you will with it. You can also put it directly on your back. <coughs> But, once we put items in it, if we break it, it will um, eject all the items um, it contains. So, to use it, you have to break it while sneaking, I believe it is don't need that. Let's 
going to throw away anything that is not valuable. So, anything made of just wood, pretty much, or any cobblestone, I'm going to keep all the plants, rotten food, thorns I don't think we need. <coughs> Now we're going to fill this up. Oh, we actually have an extra row, I think. Yeah. So there's a single chest's worth plus an extra nine items. I don't remember if that was the case or not. Always. Um, but that is nice. Leather is always good. Books are very good. I uh, chopped out the bookcases that were in one of the uh, villager houses. We want rhubarb. I want my compass or I'm never going to find my way back. Well, probably eventually, but the sooner the better. We want those and those. Steel, definitely. Coal is useful. Bamboo, we have the seeds for. Although it looks like we'll have some space left over. So we can probably grab most of this anyway. Alright. We don't need that. So now I'm going to break this. I thought that's how it worked. There we go. Yeah. So it got put on my back. Now I can't take it off. You can probably hear me clicking. Um, to to take it off, I have to sneak and right click on the ground like it said, and then break it, sneak break it again to pick it back up. So you can't use it to store items inside another container. Um, But it is useful because it is portable. Now we are going to. Oh, hello, creeper. Ah, yes, that's right. I do want to. And click click because we are out of ammo. Now I want to keep these things. Or keep, I want to bring them with me because I can use them and save some iron not having to make them myself, which is nice. We have some rails, which is absolutely awesome. Let's throw those away. And we have some tracks which is also quite nice. We can throw these away because they're only wood. Now this I don't really need. We can take these as well because why not? I would like all the bricks this building is made out of as well, but I can't carry those right now. It is pretty safe to say we'll probably 
because of the extremely interesting cave system we found underneath here uh, make a track that goes here eventually um, but it, it will have to cross a whole lot of ocean to reach here oh look those cows have grown up now it's about time Now, so yeah, we will build a railway here eventually, and I can't actually take you because the gardens were in the backpack. Oh well. Alright. So, I am now heading home. And we are <coughs> we are nearing the end of the episode. So, again, I'm going to spare you the trip Un unless something interesting happens, which it probably won't, because it's, oh yeah, this, this is where I found the snow and the cows as you can see I've been here so I I came from down this way and I went up here and saw that there was some snow here so I went up here and found a lot of snow since I had no stuff I had to make some wooden tools with that crafting table there and I think I threw them away afterwards or something and that's how I got all that snow which is quite nice but yeah so I will see you in the next episode actually let's go check out that mountain over there that looks pretty interesting might extend the episode a little bit but it's it looks too funky to pass up and I haven't been over here now that's an and this is an interesting thing. Ikoru. I've never seen those before. There's some gravel. Here's some pumpkins. Which I don't need. What's in here? Nothing. Just water. I should get some water to drink. It should be safe to drink the water in this pile. I have to have an empty hand. Yeah, it's safe. Uh, right. This is limestone red limestone yeah we definitely have to make a railway down here so we can mine this stuff and use it for building things oh, this is an interesting looking mountain I have to say not much to see on the outside though are on this side. Whoa, look, more snow. 
how nice yeah this will be useful maybe in the future I have all I need right now though this is a pretty place might have to move here even because why not but moving all my stuff here is going to be will be annoying now that's odd that is a harvest craft beehive and what it's doing on top of a tree like this I have no idea usually they generate on the other side of leaves which makes a lot more sense that looks weird oh well now it's time to say goodbye and I will see you in the next episode